Hello friends, good morning. Welcome to my channel Data Making. Okay, in this video, I am going to discuss about uh, how to implement a simple linear regression using PySpark uh, program. We are going to use the Spark ML library. Okay, let me minimize the recording window. Okay, uh, so uh, so in the last class we saw what is regression, what is simple linear regression, and what is the linear equation. How, how, how can actually plot this uh, 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 in the uh, scatter plot? How, how we can actually uh, find out this uh, best fit line using the linear equation? All this we discussed in the previous uh, video. Uh, please, uh, uh, I request you to watch that video. Okay, in this video, I'm not going to explain uh, much of uh, things from this slide. Okay, so I'm going to actually implement this. Uh, 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 <coughs> simple linear regression using PySpark. Okay, so what the uh, example I took is same this example, which is the uh, uh, independent variable is the the advertising expense and S of X and Y is the sales. Okay, sales of the particular uh, uh, <coughs> product or whatever can be. Okay, so I consider this. Okay, uh, so we'll actually take this data set as uh, uh, input. Okay, and we'll uh, implement in the uh, PySpark. Okay, so simple linear is all about uh, uh, finding the relationship between uh, um, the two variables. Okay, and uh, using that you can actually uh, predict the uh, values. So continuous value in linear regression always you predict the continuous value. Okay, now let us go to the PySpark program. Okay, so in my uh, virtual machine I have a, a Spark installed in my virtual machine. I'm using a Spark version. Uh, 2.4.4 and I set up the Eclipse to run my PySpark program. Okay, so uh, in this PySpark program, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to import this uh, uh, Spark library uh, to create the Spark session. And this is the input path where my data set is uh, located. Okay, let me show you the uh, data set. Uh, okay. Simple linear regression. So I will open this in a text editor. Okay, so this is what we have. So uh, I have a, uh, this small data set actually for you to uh, just understand this how this pipe spark uh, uh, spark ML can be used to implement the linear regression. I just want to uh, show you that example. Um, so I took this sim this simple data set. Uh, so it contains uh, two column. One is the uh, advertising exp uh, expenses, okay, as a one first column, and the second column is the sales, okay. So we are considering this as a independent variable, okay, advertising expenses, and dependent variable as a sales, okay. So let's uh, go through the program, okay. So this is the entry point of the uh, Python program, okay, the SpiceBar program. So first we are creating a Spark session object, okay, using a Spark session class. Then I am actually loading this uh, uh, CSV file and creating a data frame, okay. This uh, uh, input data set, okay, input data set uh, uh, data frame will have two columns, okay. One is advertising uh, uh, expense and uh, uh, second column is a sales, okay. So <coughs> then once you uh, once you get this data frame, just printing the schema of the data frame, so you'll have two columns, and I'll just uh, display the value from this data frame. Okay, just to show you, see you the data. Next, actually, what we need to do is we need to actually prepare the uh, <coughs> uh, these two values as a independent variable as a feature and uh, uh, um, a dependent variable uh, sales as a, um, a label, a label or target uh, uh, target variable. Okay, using the vector assembler because uh, with that format only you can actually pass it to the uh, uh, algorithm to build a model, a linear algorithm to build a model. So first what you need to do is you need to uh, create an object for vector assembler and to pass on the what are the input columns. This all the input columns is nothing but uh, <coughs> your uh, which column you want to actually consider for uh, features as a features which is an independent variable. Okay, so I take uh, expenses. Uh, because that is a one column we have, which means considering for uh, this is being a simple linear expression, a si simple linear regression, we are going to consider one column as an independent variable. So that you can actually name it as this is the input column and you are going to create a feature. Basically, it is going to generate a uh, two dimensional array. Okay, so <coughs> then vector assembler dot transform and you pass the uh, input data frame. 
once you pass you will get actually the uh, data frame consists of two columns one is a feature column okay uh, and another column uh, then <coughs> and also it will actually created the feature column right so apart from expenses column it is created the features column which is the two dimensional array of your expense column and you already sales column is there so we want to pick only features column and sales column okay and then you i will show you the uh, data okay so after that what we are doing is now we have this uh, uh, features column as a independent variable and uh, uh, sales as a dependent variable now we need to do the uh, splitting okay the testing uh, training and testing set split okay so we are using a uh, uh, 30 uh, sorry 70 30 split which is 70 percentage of data is will be considered for uh, uh, training data set and 30 percent will be considered for testing data set okay the seed is basically uh, if you want to uh, gender the same number of uh, same uh, random uh, uh, data set for training and test set if you want to try multiple times you use actually seed so that it will actually every time you run you get same uh, set of random uh, set so that you can actually verify your result properly and then uh, once you do split you get a list of uh, training data set and uh, testing data set i just take you uh, in the first indexing position i have a training set second indexing position i have a test set I just take it then now we have to train the model for training the model i have to use the uh, the linear regression class from the package i am importing that class okay then actually i am creating an object for this linear regression okay so what we need to pass we need to pass the feature which is an independent variable and also label column label column is nothing but a target variable which is a sales and followed by how many number of iteration you want to do okay so i just give it as uh, 100 iteration and other other tuning parameters like uh, uh, reg uh, regularization uh, uh, parameters and uh, elastic net, net uh, mixing parameters or some of the tuning parameters we can actually use it okay then once you uh, uh, create an ob uh, object for this linear regression model okay so you are going to use, do the training how we can do the training use the fit method so uh, the mo uh, model object dot fit the regression model dot fit and pass the training data set so the your your model will be built okay now it's a time to do the prediction okay so what we are going to do is we have already the test data set right uh, so in the test data set we will pass it to the model using the transform function so which will actually do the prediction and it will give the data frame this data frame will consist of uh, uh, the prediction column okay and the, we already have the uh, sales column right which is the expected uh, uh, this is the the okay already uh, the uh, label column which is a uh, target target column okay and also features we have now we can actually compare what is the actual uh, uh, value of sales and what is the predicted value of sales in the data frame you can actually show and i will show you and you can compare it okay then we want to evaluate this uh, model so whether how it is performing so you can actually find out the in the model summary in the model you will have a summary if you take the model summary it will have like uh, uh, rm <coughs> rmsc uh, root mean squared error and uh, r2 value r square value sorry so you can actually uh, uh, see the values and uh, find out how this model is performing okay is it good or it is we or it needs uh, uh, improvement we will check it so first i am running this so it is going to uh, create a spark session object and load the uh, CSV data into data frame, uh, then the data frame will be converted as uh, uh, all the uh, independent va variable is considered, uh, will be converted as features and the dependent variable will be taken for the label or uh, target variable. Okay, then it will see so it is showing the first uh, the data what are there in the data frame. Okay, this is how it is built the features as a two dimensional array. Okay, uh, then uh, if you see here, uh, it is actually. Uh, um, it has done the prediction okay so in this stage uh, so this is what i printed here right so it has actually printed so this is the uh, the actual uh, uh, sales price but it predicted uh, uh, 8.3 uh, followed by some number okay means uh, close to uh, 8.37 okay so it's uh, uh, not uh, exactly the same but it has uh, uh, given some uh, uh, it has some error actually so if you see another next value 
uh, it has actually actual uh, value is 11 but it is printed as uh, uh, 14.95 yeah, etc but the model is uh, uh, when you see the uh, r square value which is coming closer to 1 uh, this being good model uh, it says because the uh, the closer to uh, 1 is actually a, a good model okay uh, some um, then actually why it is uh, uh, this prediction is uh, not proper because we did not give much uh, uh, training data set to uh, the model to build it so uh, the the algorithms to build the model so if you provide a, a, a very large data set to the model actually it will actually uh, learn it from their data and it can do the prediction properly okay so always have the uh, good training data set to uh, build the model okay so uh, that's it from my side friends so uh, see you in the next video um, please provide your comments on the comment section of the video thank you see you in the next video